everyone. I am Smriti Bhatia from MyForexi. Welcome to the webinar on top 10 tools to manage treasury for exporters and importers. Exporters and importers having exposure in foreign currency find it difficult to manage their forex risk, which further increases their financial risk. So forex risk arises due to fluctuations or volatility of foreign exchange rates. It is a substantial risk since most of the currencies are liquid and extremely volatile, exposing companies to cash flow uncertainties. Forex risk is different for exporters and importers. Since exporters sell goods and receive foreign currency, their risk is that the foreign currency will fall against domestic currency. On the other hand, importers buy goods and pay in foreign currency. Therefore, their risk is that the foreign currency will rise against domestic currency. There are many tools available with which the exporters can, and importers can manage their forex risk. Here we have the top 10 tools to manage forex for exporters and importers. The first five tools are included in this webinar and the second part of the webinar includes the remaining tools. Here we explain forwards, futures, options, buyer's credit and supplier's credit. Let's dwell a little more deeper into each of these tools to gain more understanding. The most commonly used tool by exporters and importers is forward contracts. Forward contracts are agreement to buy or sell an underlying currency at a specified future date at an agreed price today. This price is known as the forward rate. Forward contracts are binding and obligatory contracts. That is once entered into, it cannot be withdrawn from. These contracts are customized, that is tailor-made according to the suitability of exporter and importer. Also, these contracts are over-the-counter contracts, that is, they are traded over the counter with the banks. The forward rate is the sum of spot rate and forward premium. The spot rate is the current market rate and the forward premium is the interest rate differential between the two currencies. The forward premium is from the day of booking the contract till the day of maturity of the contract. Forward contracts work differently for exporters and importers. Since exporters receive foreign currency, they take forward contracts to sell foreign currency to hedge their forest risk. When exporters enter into a forward contract, they receive a forward premium, which is a benefit for them. On the other hand, importers pay foreign currency. Therefore, they take forward contracts to buy foreign currency to hedge their forex risk. Importers, while entering into a forward contract, have to pay the forward premium. Next, we have a similar contract known as a futures contract. Futures contracts are highly standardized contracts with closely specified terms. These are very similar to forward contracts with little differences, which we will discuss later. Futures contracts are traded on an organized exchange such as the National Stock Exchange of India, unlike forward contracts which are traded with banks. To enter into a future contract, one needs to have a DMAT account and has to submit a margin with the exchange. Exporters take the futures contract to sell foreign currency to hedge their forest risk, while importers hedge their forest risk by taking the future contract to buy the foreign currency. The difference between the futures contracts and forward contracts are quite clear. The first and foremost difference is that forward contracts are customized contracts, while futures contracts are standardized contracts with specific terms. They have specified maturity as well as specified lot size, which is usually 1000 units. 
since forward contracts are traded over the counter with the banks they can be utilized for receivables or payables and can also be cash settled on the other hand because futures contracts are traded on exchanges they can only be cash settled forward contracts are have opaque forex rates these are not very transparent markets on the other hand the forex rates in futures markets are very transparent for the general public because forex because forward markets are not very transparent it has a high transaction cost on the other hand the transparent futures markets have fixed transaction costs let's move on to the third tool the options contract of Op options contract gives the buyer the right to buy or sell an underlying asset at a specified price known as the strike price on or till a specified date known as the expiry date please note that options gives the right and not the obligation to buy or sell the underlying asset there are two types of options the right the options with the right to buy are known as the call options while the options with the right to sell are known as put options there are european options and american options european options can only be exercised on the maturity date while american options can be exercised on any business day till the maturity day including the maturity day to acquire this right the buyer of the option has to pay the seller of the option a fee called the option premium or the option price this fee is paid up front at the time of buying the option and it is a one time fee the option buyer has the choice to exercise or not to exercise the right it is completely up to the buyer of the option to to choose whether he wants to exercise the option or not exercise the option at the maturity while the seller of the option is obligated to abide by the choice of the buyer of the option let's understand more on options by looking at this example suppose the exporter and importer have exposure in dollars the option used by exporter is a usd inr put option the exporter's outlook is bearish on the usd inr pair so the risk of exporter is of rupee appreciation the solution here is that the exporter buys a put option at a strike price which is equal to the forward rate when the strike price of the option is equal to the forward rate currently in the market it is known as at the money option for example if the spot currently in the market is 74 and the exporter requires an option of 6 months and the forward rate he receives is 75.5 then the exporter buys a put option at a strike price of 75.5 and pays an option premium of 1.2 if on the maturity day the currency appreciates below 74 that is the USD INR rate falls below 74 then the exporter exercises the option and receives the rate of 75.5 if on the maturity the rupee depreciates and the USD INR rate is above 75.5 then the exporter chooses not to exercise the option and receives the current market rate similarly the importer the option used by importer is a usd inr call option the outlook of the importer is bullish on the usd inr pair the risk faced by importer is that the rupee will depreciate therefore the solution is to buy a call option at a strike price which is equal to the forward rate this is also known as at the money option so the spot is 74 the maturity is of 6 months and the forward rate is 
the importer buys a call option at a strike price of 75.5 and pays an option premium of 0.75 if the currency appreciate and the usd inr rate at maturity is below 74 then the importer chooses not to exercise the option and receives the favorable market rate if the currency has depreciated and the spot is above 75.5 at maturity then the importer exercises the option and receives the rate of 75.5 options can be very useful in hedging false risk and giving the benefit of the upside to exporter and importer then we have trade finance tools buyers credit buyers credit is basically used by importers to fund their import payments transactions backed by this documents against acceptance or documents against payment or letter of credit can be financed at cheap international interest rates for import into india it is a very simple process as described now the importer enters into a contract with the supplier the supplier then ships the goods the importer then reaches out to overseas bank to for indicative pricing once the pricing is confirmed the overseas bank issues offer letter and shares all the required documents the importer bank then delivers the documents to the overseas bank including standby letter of credit the overseas bank after verification of the documents funds the nostro account of the importer's bank with the help of this funding the importer's bank then makes the payment by utilizing the amount credited now on the due date of the buyer's credit the amount is recovered from the importer and remitted to the overseas bank by the importer's bank basically the importer's bank arranges this credit for the importer through an overseas bank a similar funding tool is supplier's credit the overseas financial institutions outside india provide financing to importer on libor linked rates against usans letter of credit supplier's credit can only be arranged against letter of credit while buyer's credit can be arranged against dp da or lc the process flow is as follows importer enters to importer enters into a contract with the supplier the overseas banks are approached for indicative pricing once the pricing is confirmed the importer's bank transmits the lc to the supplier's bank via the overseas bank which provides a copy of the same to the supplier the supplier then ships the goods and submits the document at the supplier's bank's counter the overseas bank then receives checks and sends the documents to the importer's bank for acceptance the importer's bank provides acceptance to the overseas bank and guarantees the payment on the due date the supplier then receives the payment for the lc from the overseas bank on maturity of the supplier's credit the importer makes the payment to his bank and importer's bank makes the payment to the supplier's credit bank these were the first five tools that help exporters and importers manage forest risk and reduce their costs i hope that you gain knowledge on the five tools that that were explained in this webinar If you have any further queries feel free to reach out to us at research@myforexi.com you can also call us on 7711009009 for for explanation on the further five tools please click on the next webinar thank you